Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Friday the 8th of April. We begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we like to think that we would never intentionally pigeonhole people, but we do so more often than we like to admit. We tell ourselves that it doesn't matter, that the terms we use are only labels and that we can see beyond them to the person underneath. But in reality, we are swayed by negative assumptions as much as the next person, allowing them to colour our attitude and to sway our judgments. 
forgive the bigotry that lurks within us and that poisons the wider world. Forgive the way people are so often casually dismissed, the discrimination and injustice unthinkingly assumed as being justified. Teach us to see people as you see them, as unique individuals, each having their own good and bad points, but each also being your precious child. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah chapter 51 Awake, awake, arm of the Lord, clothe yourself with strength. Awake, as in days gone by, as in generations of old. Was it not you who cut Rahab to pieces, who pierced that monster through? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made a road in the depths of the sea so that the redeemed might cross over? Those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals, human beings who are but grass, that you forget the Lord your Maker, who stretches out the heavens and who lays the foundations of the earth, that you live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor, who is bent on destruction? For where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in their dungeon, nor will they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice, my prayer to you outpoured. Incline your ear and listen to my plea. My heart cries out, have mercy, Lord, on me. My heart cries out, have mercy, Lord, on me. If you, O Lord, kept record of our sin, Lord, who could stand before you? Forgive our sin and draw us near that we may honor you in reverent fear. That we may honor you in reverent fear. I wait for God. My soul waits for the Lord. I hope in Him and His unfailing Word. More than the watchmen wait for morning light, I wait for God and in word delight. I wait for God and in his word delight. Oh, Christians, hope and trust in God alone. Well,
Psalm 143 Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Help us, Lord, not just to talk about love, nor simply to espouse its virtues, but to show it in action, allowing it to shape everything we think and say and do. Instead of seeking refuge in dogma or in platitudes, help us truly to follow your way. Lord Jesus, open our minds to you and to others and help us to walk the way of love, however demanding and however uncomfortable it might be. Gracious God, teach us that you seek not to restrict life, but to maximise the happiness and the well-being of all people, that you yearn not to punish, but to bless, that you delight not to harm but to heal, that you strive not for evil, but for good. Teach us that you are a God, not of anger or vengeance, but of constant and abundant love. A God who cares so passionately about each one of us, that you gave your all to make us yours. Help us to show the depth of our gratitude by loving you and by loving others in return. Amen. Whoa.